Hey, I'm Andy. I'm here to talk to you about today about the spin tank. So, normal tanks, which you've probably seen, look something like this, and they have armor on each side, which protects them against missiles and small arms fire. And this is sufficient for the U.S. military, um, but it makes them bulky and hard to maneuver. And I think there could be an improvement on this armor that's been used just kind of brute force for for many decades. So I'm introducing something called spin tank, which is a tank, instead of having armor on each of its sides, this tank has a rotating hull of armor that just spins very, very rapidly. You can think of this as uh, trying to hit something that's spinning, it'll just sort of ricochet off. It reduces the target size, it reduces the effective target like surface area. It also makes it difficult to just hit in general. Uh, and it could be an interesting concept, so we're here to try it out. So I've 3D modeled some of these hulls. Uh, they're just semicircles with a shaft going through them. Uh, mostly hollow, there's no support structure just so it'd be equally, um, it's equally strong on every single surface. And I made this mount so that it mounts on a food processor in my kitchen, which spins at around 14 repetitions per second. Uh, this, sh this should be sufficient, I think, for deflecting most projectiles. Uh, it it's absurdly fast, and I had to remodel this thing a few times because the crankshaft just wasn't strong enough, so I had to buff it up. So we're going to be testing today, um, shooting missiles, which are chopsticks, at a rotating hull, which is just this 3D printed thing. Uh, and we'll see how it goes compared to a, a sitting hull. Uh, here's how I'm actually shooting the, the projectiles. I just put the rubber band around my thumb and then pull this back, acting like a barrel. Just like that. So here's the setup. This is the food processor. That's the shaft. There's a safety mechanism here. I've disabled cleverly with a pin head. And then as soon as you pry this thing up, the crankshaft starts. So, if we just fit this on here, we can start it up and then start firing. Yeah, I, I wanted to test a uh, some different material, like foam or something, uh, how it would react. If we could look at the depth, that would be interesting. Because with these, it's just a hole. We can only tell you know, if it dented the plastic, or if it created a hole in the plastic, or if it just glanced off and didn't touch it at all. Uh, but with the foam head, we could tell distance travel into the armor. However, the styrofoam is so soft that uh, as soon as you start spinning it up, he just flies off. So I got the model finalized and printed off about three. Uh, so we're going to start our spinning tests and our still shot tests. So I, I destroyed the cap of this one pretty quickly. Um, here it is right here. So here are the results. Um, you can see that it's not super clear, but the spinning hole did suffer less holes than the non-spinning. Um, the spinning, I was able to shoot 25 times, and the non-spinning I was able to shoot 32 times. I'm personally pretty bad at statistics, so I was able to make 500 from it. The table I shown before was a contingency table for the chi-squared statistical test, basically showing if the spinning and the non-spinning holes um, were any different, if the results that I got in the damages was significant at all, or is this just some chance. Uh, my p-value for this is 0.2. This is pretty bad because it means there's a 20% chance that the findings and the differences of the damages between the spinning holes and the non-spinning holes was just mere chance uh, because the sample size is so small. This table that I made more clearly shows the difference in the spinning and the non-spinning damages. However, because my trials were so small, uh, I would need to do more experiments to prove that the spinning tank was actually better than the regular tank hole. This concludes the spin tank experiment. Uh, it was fun to do this, and I hope you all enjoyed watching and learning about new types of tanks.